Hello everyone, and welcome to the first installment of Hammer and Source Engine Mapping Troubleshooting. So, a lot of you send me messages and emails with your map problems if you can't fix them. I try to help you over email a little bit, and then if we can't figure it out, um, I'll usually take a look. So I have an email from someone right now. He's having an issue with cube maps. It says that his cube maps are not building in his level. So I had him send me a VSP and a VMF. He also sent me the textures, which I already installed. I freshly downloaded a BSP and VMF, and I barely have any idea what's wrong with these levels. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, dump them into my Counter-Strike Source folder. So that's what we'll be troubleshooting in, Counter-Strike Source and Cube Maps. So I'm going to go right in the Maps folder and move that there, and then we're going to start up CS. And we're going to see... We're going to see if I can get my cube maps to build. Alright, so the first thing we're going to notice is there are some missing textures. Uh, he sent me the VMF, so we'll take a look at that too, I guess. Um, we'll enable cheats and we'll build the cube maps. Now, to verify that the cube maps are working, um, the easiest way in Counter-Strike to do this is mat underscore, turn cheats on, mat underscore reload all materials. And then give weapon op. Um, op has a reflective scope, so you can use that to see. There used to be impulse 81, and that still works in some games, but in Counter-Strike Source, it's broken. So as I can tell, they aren't working. I'm just going to do a fail safe really quick and restart the game. Some games want to restart. Counter-Strike Source shouldn't be one of them, but I know Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 um, are. So I'll check them one more time. Give weapon underscore up. Still no cube maps. All right. So now we're going to do the next step of the map. We're going to make sure that there's no leak. Now a leak should not affect a level, but we just want to make sure. So we're going to go ahead and run hammer. Load the map file. Oh, we got some missing textures. I'm going to replace those with one of the textures that he has. Um, he downloaded a Mirror's Edge texture pack off of Game Banana. So we're just going to replace all of the missing textures with uh, with some pretty colors. Sweet. Oh, did that do it? Did that get them all? Sweet. Good enough. Okay. So... Now I'm going to check his cube maps. Just make sure that there's no um, values that got added when smart edit could have been off. There's no flags or anything on them. They look right. So the next thing I'm going to do is just uh, give myself a fresh compiled map with a full HDR compile. And we'll see what that gives me. Um, since I minimized, it unloaded all of the default cube maps. That's why we have the pink and black texture um, going on here. So we can see that these textures do have a spec mask on them. Uh, it says that we have an error loading the texture files. Uh, I don't know what that's about. But those are cube map names. So it's having it's looking for them, which means that they're named. Um, which is gonna help me in my next troubleshooting stuff. So HDR is on. We're gonna we're gonna throw a build cube map command to it. All right, we're gonna throw a mat, reload all materials, and we're gonna give weapon underscore off. All right, our cube maps still aren't built, so we're not done yet. Uh, the next thing I want to see is if they're getting saved to the map file. So the easiest way to do this is when you are in your C Strike folder maps. Um, his map's called samples.bsp. So what we're gonna look at is the file size of that level. We're going to do a full compile here. Now we're going to get baseline on how big the BSP is. It's 1.1712 kilobytes. So we're now going to load the map up. Type samples. Alright, now when I build the cube maps, that size should go up. It did not. It stayed the same. So now... The next step in my troubleshooting process is I'm going to pop over to the VDC. Um, 
I'm going to check if there's any errors reported for the build cube maps in Counter-Strike Source. Uh, I see TF2, Left 4 Dead, Overview. I don't see anything here. Nope. Alright, I think we're good there. Um, throw another compile. Alright, cool. Now, since the map file didn't go up, that leads me to believe one of two things. The um, When I minimized, I brought it back up and it couldn't reload the texture, so that's also telling me that it already knows what files to look for. And the only way that it can know if they're there is if it built them before. I don't know how it was able to build them since we didn't tell it to build them. So I'm just going to check the uh, the lump on the BSP. I'm going to use Vide for this. I'm going to click the uh, this guy here the pack file lump editor and you can download this on my website I'm gonna go to steam apps common and then contract source C strike maps and samples okay cool so now we see all of his VMTs that are stored in here um, and we can actually we can save this entire pack Let's see what's going on there we'll preserve the folder structure which is cool and that will have given us a materials folder on our desktop. Materials, maps, samples. Cool. So now we have all of the VTFs. What looks like it happened, um, yep, here it is. It's looking for a, a texture. So somehow it looks like they already got built. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to manually remove those and we're going to see if that works. Um, like I said, I don't know if this is actually going to work. Uh, I'm just trying to troubleshoot the issue and get cube maps to build. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything here, except for a cube map defaults. Um, and I'm just going to hit delete. And then I'm going to save. And nope, save over here under BSP. All right, now all the textures have gone away. Um, and now I'm going to bring up my maps folder again so I can verify the map size here. Okay, cool, so it's down to 601K. Um, for a level like this, that actually seems more reliable. So I'm gonna type map and then samples one more time. We're gonna load up, okay, oh. Let's see, we already got an error going on here. Um, I think a reload will probably fix that. So we're going to go to Counter-Strike Source again, reload the game. It looked like it was trying to load the textures, but it can't find them because we deleted them from under its nose, um, and that information was cached. That's my best guess. So now we're back in here. I got the file up down there, still 601k. Uh, we're going to reload, and we're missing all of the textures. Here we go, Doug. Alright, so that wasn't it. Or I deleted too much. So I'm going to try just deleting the VMFs this time, and we're going to force it to rebuild just the VMFs. So I'm going to go back to Steam Apps, Common, Construct Source, C Strike, Apps, Samples. Cool, we have everything here. Um, I just want to delete the textures, not the materials. So, leaving the cube apps defaults, delete, save the BSP. Alright, what do we got going on here? Alright, 631k is our new map size. We're going to go ahead and um, map samples. Cool, so we have our textures back now. Um, we're at 631k. Uh, we're going to throw a build cube maps command to the engine. Let's see what happens. Oh, cool. So the map jumped up 900k in file size, which probably means that the cube maps were just built. So we're going to turn on cheats. We're going to type mat uh, reload all materials. And we've got this error again. Um, so we're going to exit the game. And we're going to reload. We're going to see if that works. Oh. Loading the game up too quickly here. All right. Map samples. Oh, that looks like it did it. Alright, 
let's uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves an op give weapon op. Ah, there we go. So now you'll see that in the scope of the op here in the lower right, um, I can see the world being reflected around me in the cube maps. So that seems to have fixed the issue. Um, I don't know exactly what happened to this map. I'm going to assume that it was the Steam Pipe update that moved Counter-Strike Source to the common folder that seems to have caused a lot of ruckus um, for various things. Or it could be a build setting in default. For some reason it's just generating default cube maps for every face or texture that it should be um, allowing us to make our own cube maps for. But anyways, this seems to have resolved it. So the conclusion of this is to open your map in a lump editor. Select all of the textures, so the VMFs, not the materials, which are VMTs. So we delete the VMFs, leave the uh, cube map defaults, and then reload game, build the cube maps, reload game. And you should be good. I hope this helped you troubleshoot some, some cube map issues. If you guys keep sending me various issues that I can't solve over email, I'll probably do these for them. This was a perplexing problem, and I'm glad we got it resolved. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.